Now, we are now being joined uh, by a regular on the program, and I will give him the promo. I'm going to appear on their, well, he stole the name, um, Working Group podcast this evening. Um, Martin Bomber Bradbury, also a contributor to the um, uh, to our opinion section. And Martin is someone who is kind of adjacent to the left. They've sort of cancelled him, and I think we used to have the odd exchange <laughs> on Twitter. Um, and I don't know, maybe I need some perspective. Firstly, Bomber, I just want to ask you, is Chris Hipkins going viral around the world for not being able to say what a woman is a more important story than me losing my Twitter account? Oh, that's a good... I, I think they're both very important stories. I think both? they are both examples of how crazy we are right now in terms of the culture war. I think they're both very important uh, stories in terms of how we actually try and facilitate debate and ideas and the, the, the transmission of those ideas. Uh, I thought poor old Chris <laughs> Oh, you could see the fear in his I, I eyes. Just, uh, Bomber, I just want to, to read this. This text, this, is, this text has just come into me. Yeah. And I'm going to ask this person to ring me anonymously. But, uh, okay. Morning, Sean. As a government employee, I called the platform once about nothing to do with my employment or even in that field. Within 12 hours, I've been pulled into two offices and reminded of my code of conduct obligations to remain politically neutral and serve the government of the day. Government employees are absolutely being censored from talking to the platform. Um, platform Plus needs a way for people to communicate with it outside of traceable communication such as text or email. This is chilling. Wow. They would have picked up... Uh, well, well, that would, what, that would, what that would suggest is that the platform is a uh, one of those media outlets which would automatically get picked up by the servers. So if somebody is using a government device and they're trying to reach out to you or they're contacting you or for, for whatever they were doing, that would get, be getting picked up. And you uh, must now be on the enemies list, uh, Sean. What is the so enemies that's how list? they would have caught that. Well, pa apparently so. Apparently you are. If that's happening, you're on an enemies list, aren't you? Well, who do I find out if I'm on the list and who's got the list? Uh, I would imagine that you would ask parliamentary services if they uh, have the platform as an unapproved contact point through their system. That, that's what I would imagine you would Yeah. Do. Okay, this is interesting. A few things are falling into place now. Uh, nevertheless, yeah. <laughs> do you, have you got any idea who got me off Twitter? I haven't, I've been a bit busy. Well, <laughs> you certainly have. Look, I think that um, what's going on here is round two of the culture wars. Uh, we saw round one play out at, uh, on Saturday, the, the pure trans joy uh, on display there. And, and I think that a lot of those activists were very angry that there was any media commentary that wasn't just pure trans joy, that the platform, for example, was quite critical. Uh, many other media uh, outlets started becoming critical after the courage of the uh, platform to step up and actually do the journalism they were too frightened to. And I think that round two of that now is uh, a focus on attacking those voices and removing them completely. And this is part of the problem with the woke left and the activists, the middle class identity politics activists right now. They're so used to cancellation and deplatform in their echo bunkers. They've, that's, that's their standard move now. They've lost the art of actually persuading people over to their side of the argument. So it's better to simply shut down and kill off Sean Plunkett. It's much better to shut down those voices that say, whoa, 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 what about the other side? It's much better and easier for those woke activists to do that than actually engage. And so all of your crimes have been listed and there's been a mess campaign by some activists online to uh, flood Twitter with all of these complaints, and now you're banned for life. So that's, that's where we is now as a culture yeah. war. That is can can is I ask you, because I'm banned, I haven't been spending as much time on Twitter, my dopamine levels are dangerously low. Um, how did the Chris Hipkins response to my question, the day job question, go down on, on Twitter and social well, media? It was it was very funny. I mean, nobody was touching it because I think the mainstream media just went, oh, we're not even going to engage in that question. And so it wasn't really widely talked there. But once the piece went up 
uh, and that wonderful Curb Your Enthusiasm music in the background has gone viral on TikTok, put it that way. Oh, has it? Look, I see J.K. Rowling was saying something about it, Piers Morgan. Um, yeah, and, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's global. The, 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 the attention is absolutely global. Total silence here in New Zealand. But none, not, I mean, not, none of the major um, uh, 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 newspaper stories, none of the major media have mentioned it at all. Hosking, all interv- Hosking interviewed um, uh, Hipkins this morning, didn't mention it. Oh, no, no, sorry, sorry, yes. Uh, other, other, other than Mike, but no one else has touched it yet. No, he didn't mention it either. He did a whole interview with Hosking, uh, with, with Hipkins this morning, oh, didn't, didn't mention mean, it. Oh, oh. So well, it's kind of like, Bomber, well, we're living... This isn't just a bit like 1984. This is 1984. Yeah, if 1984 was, like, run by clowns, you know? <laughs> like, really sort of, are you kidding me? Um, I, I, I think it was an important question to ask. I think it's simply based on his reaction. And that shows you where that debate is now on gender and identity. What, and is, an, what, what is a woman, to your way of thinking, Martin? Well, she's the, the, I, I, I think a woman is a biological um, uh, is, is a biological female member of the species. Adult and human is, female. Adult human female. Yeah. You Nazi. Yes, yes, that is, that you freaking Nazi. That is, um, that, is, that is how I would define it. Um, but, but, you know, I'm old-fashioned. No, you're not. You're logical. So, now that we're, let's do some business now. You want me to come on the working group tonight? We're very keen for you to join Who us with? this evening and join. It will be with Maria Slade, NBR journalist, and of course, Damien Grant from Stuff. Okay, all right. What time? Uh, 7 30 to 8 30. You're streaming it online? Yes, live, and we'll be taking you by Zoom. Live on what? Uh, live on uh, Facebook, YouTube, and the Daily Blog. And okay. soon to be simulcast, and very excited about this. Soon to be simulcast on Free View TV. Free to Air TV, you've done it. Yes. Oh, my yes. God, you're going to get cancelled. We are our podcast empire. All right, look if we could simulcast that on the platform tonight. Oh no, How good because would that be? well, I'd be happy to do it. The office there, mate. Okay, well, I know. I'll, da- I'll, I know. I'll Damien has issues. Uh, stuff have got this ban on me. And I oh, think if he has anything to do with oh, me, he's going to lose oh, his oh, column oh, and stuff. It's all part of the Nazi oh, empire we live oh, in. Oh, oh. It's all part of the agenda against everyone. Yeah. I should, look, look, my other question, uh, I suddenly feel quite liberated not being on Twitter anymore. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to get my dopamine, I, dopamine from, but the, uh, that's why we built the platform, you know, so you can't do this to me, and I can just laugh in your face. That, 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 that's part of the joy of it. But I also think, look, you know, your impertinent questions in, in those media... Uh, uh, settings uh, have actually been really, really good, and I, 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 I think that you need to be that voice in that room asking those questions. Thanks, thanks, Bomber. All right, I'll come on the show. You've you've sweet talked me into it. Uh, we'll <laughs> we'll make some details. And thank you, thank you for coming on this morning, mate. Your of course, uh, your contribution, of course. even though certain sectors of the Labour Party hate you and want you to burn you at the stake. Uh, It's always nice to have you with us. That is Martin uh, Bomber Bradbury.